Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of this tournament. The King Arthur Classic comes to an end with its two finalists. The Polish Knights of Poland, obviously, and the Tsarist God of Russia. Who shall win the King Arthur Classic and be the king of cavalry and that a uh, weird thing that happened I don't know what that it was anyway it's time for war and here are our contestants the Polish against the Russians and there's probably some World War II joke in there that I am missing oh well the USSR did destroy part of Poland that was bad Oh my goodness. Come on Poland! Come on Poland! I literally I'm literally team Poland right now. Ooh. Come on guys. You can do it. Come on guys. Battle is going. It's pretty even, actually. Hey, those horses! Those horses are unicorns. Hey, that's funny. So right now it's a very fairly even fight. You don't know uh, which. Lord, be merciful. We have lost half of our men. Oh my goodness. The battles, my friends. The enemy the are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Goodness gracious me. Come on. Come on, Poland. You can do it. From fire to flame. Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Oh, oh Slaves. my god. Russia wins the King time. Arthur Classic. Captain Boleslav has won. Leading his troops to victory. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the King Arthur Classic is none other than Russia. Thank you for joining me in this tournament. I really enjoyed uh, making this. And the announcement is that the next AI tournament or the next, you know, single player for me tournament to test out different units, it's going to be Survivors Season 9. Yes, my friends, Survivors Season 9. And it's going to be on the Elder Scrolls Total War. That's right. I have already been planning the draft. There's 23 factions and I plan on using all of them using the same method that I used for this tournament. So stay tuned for more. This has been ADG and I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye and thank you all so much for watching these videos.